Hey guys, okay, so we are still talking about Instagram training, how to use it properly. We have learned how to set up our profile and the importance of what that looks like in a profile picture. Um, we have talked about some photography tips and um, that you wanna post at least three times a day about things in your life. It works needs to be one of them at least once a day. We do not want it to be a salesy um, kind of post. We want it to be a fun post or a serious post or a meaningful post or just a, this is my life post and it works as a part of my life. And, um, and then we learned about hashtags. So first we found, we talked about ha finding people to follow, uh, through hashtags. So you're supposed to continue to be um, continually finding new people through hashtags. But today we're gonna talk about hashtags for people finding you. So let's say, um, okay, so for example, I posted a picture this morning doing yoga. And um, so I was doing a handstand. So I hashtagged handstand, I hashtag yoga, I hashtag yogi, I hashtag, hashtag yoga mom, holy yoga, and then my own Miss Munchy yoga because I want, I have, that's a way for me to track all the poses I've ever posted. Um, but what happens is that people who regularly go to the yoga hashtag or the yogi hashtag or the handstand, they might um, like my picture. Like I get a lot of people who like stuff that don't necessarily follow me. But when I hashtag every single day, I have at least a few people who start following me. Um, during the school year, I, I you know post a lot about homeschool and so I always hashtag homeschool, um, homeschool family. When I post pictures of my big big family, I, you know, hashtag big family, or if there is a big family problem, I'll hashtag big family problem, or clean eating, or anything. So we have talked about, you know, you've written a list of things that you have interest. All you do is you look at your po your picture, you look at what you've talked about in your post, and you pick a few words out of there that, um, or a few words that either represent the picture or you actually spoke about in the post, and you hashtag them. So what you want to be, what I really recommend is that you don't hashtag within your writing. Um, it makes it really hard for people to, to read. I don't like reading people's posts that have hashtags within their writing. So I write what I'm saying and then underneath I go back and post. Um, or I'm sorry, underneath, so I write what I'm saying and then underneath that I go and hashtag some things. So that like ends, ends my whatever I'm saying. Um, so if you have any questions about that, comment here or PM me, um, but make sure that you are posting every single day because that is how we are consistent.